Good Friday morning, everyone. I am Vicki Edmondson, an independent stamping up demonstrator in the United States. Today, I wanted to do a video. Um, I need a couple of sympathy cards, and um, I need them kind of fast. So I'm going to show you uh, make one today, and then I'll show you one another one that I've made um, so I could get them in the mail very soon. We're going to be using the Wonderful World 12 by 12 DSP. This is a celebration item, and last I checked, it is still available. Uh, it's free with your qualifying purchase of $100, and they these are beautiful papers. Um, I think I've got like three packs of them myself because it's so pretty, and you can use it for any occasion. And these are the coordinating cardstock colors that go with it. Um, again, celebration ends um, the end of this month and I'll talk about that again in just a few minutes. When I got this paper, this one piece, um, and again it's 12 by 12, this one piece has a lot of pretty flowers and I'm going to show you uh, what I did. I took one of the Stylish Shapes dies and I'll show you which one I used in a minute and I cut out these flowers. I cut around them so that I could get them through the cut and emboss machine because you can't put a 12 by 12 through that. So I kind of use my snips and cut around them far enough out that this um, die would fit there. And then I went ahead and cut all of these out on one page, from one page. So I have another page to use that I can use for others, uh, other cards. But I did that first because I knew I wanted to use those um, in a way that I could get a lot of cards made from that one 12 by 12. And we will be using the um, Time Worn Type 3D embossing folder. This has become my newest favorite embossing folder. It's been out for a while. It is in the annual catalog, and I just love the effect that you get when you emboss with it. Again, we're gonna use the Stylish Shapes dies and this second to the smallest is the one that I use to cut those flowers out. And then for my sentiment today, I'm using Peaceful Moments and With Deepest Sympathy is what I'll use for the sentiment on the outside. To begin with, you're going to need a piece of 8.5 by 5.5 basic white, scored and thick, scored at five and a, uh, 4 and a quarter. I'm sorry. No, I'm sorry. Eight and a half by five and a half, scored at four and a quarter. And then I took a piece of Starry Sky that is five and a quarter by four. That's one of the new end colors. And you can see that I ran it through the embossing folder. I have a piece of the Melon Mambo, which is one of the cardstock colors that go with that. And it, this is three and a quarter by three and a quarter. And then I just chose four of the flowers that I liked, and these are the four that I'm going to use today. Okay, so to begin with, I'm going to go ahead and adhere, use my Tombow glue, multi-purpose glue. And when you use this folder, it does have some wording on it. If you can see that, make sure you're putting it right side up. Um, it's not real noticeable, but it's there. So just make sure your words are right side up and not upside down when you do that. All right, I'm going to just center that right here. Okay, lay that aside. And well, let me see how I want this to be. I'm going to put this about here, I think. I want the pink one to be first. Since I'm using the Melon Mambo, I want that to be first. And then I'm going to, I think I'm going to put a white one. And then a blue one. And a yellow one. So I think that's the way I'll do it. I'm going to lay this aside. And you're going to leave a little bit of space between each one of the little squares. And again, using this Tombow glue, multi-purpose glue, you have a little bit of wiggle room. Okay, I'm going to leave about like that. Oh, nope. 
I need to go over a little bit closer, I think. So let's move it over just a hair. Okay. And then the white one next. We're going to place that right about there. Then the blue. Give it a little bit of space there. Hope everybody will have a great weekend this weekend. Uh, the last... Actually, it's the last weekend in this month. How hard is that to believe, right? Okay. And then I'm going to pop this up on dimensionals. And again, most of you who watch my videos know that I cut my dimensionals in half just to make them go a little further. You don't have to. You can use the whole one if you want to. But I think a half one is going to hold it just as well. I might use this big end here to put in the center. Okay. And then I'll use my take your pick tool. Well, let me get the sticky off of it. And I'll take these off. I hope some of you do have this DSP already um, and have used it to make some pretty cards with. Um, it is beautiful uh, DSP. Okay, I'm going to put that there. And then I took a scrap of white and just stamped that sentiment with deepest sympathy in the Starry Sky ink. And I think I'm going to uh, pop that up as well. And I think I'll put another one up here at the top. Okay. And I'm going to take these off. And I'm going to, oh, I don't know. Do I want to center it, put it to the left, or put it to the right? I think I'm going to center it right about there. There you go. And that card is done. When you need something quick and simple and fast, but very pretty, this is an easy way to do it. And like I said, I pre-cut all of these out when I got when I first got the paper, um, that DSP page. I went ahead and cut a whole page out so I'd have them on hand as I needed them. That's the one I showed you today. And then this one I also did and just stamped right on the cardstock with comfort and love and used... Um, this is Tahitian Tide, or Orchid Oasis, Orchid Oasis I'm sorry, um, cardstock back here. And I didn't put a layer on this one that I embossed. I just did it plain and simple. So there are two cards for you today. Again, Celebration is going to um, end at the end of August. The Celebration catalog um, the mini catalog here has a few items I know have sold out. I know the um, these tree lot dies have sold out. And oh, let's see. I know there was one other. This sold out long ago. I never even got any of this. That's why I have a sad face there. But uh, I wanted some, but they sold out so quickly. But Stampin' Up! has added additional items to the celebration, um, a timber 3D embossing folder, flowers of the home dies, some silver foil, that'll be really pretty to use for Christmas cards, gingham embossing folder, I use that quite a bit, dots and spots die, daffodil dies, that would go with that daffodil um, stamp set, aspen tree dies, I've seen a lot of pretty cards that I've gotten in swaps that use this for Christmas cards. These craft gift boxes, they are great to make 
four or five cards and decorate the outside a little bit maybe tie a ribbon around it and give it as gift um, the seashells 3d embossing folder and the brush metallic 12 by 12 and that was out of stock i'm not sure if that has come back yet or not but um, that makes pretty Christmas cards as well. So if you haven't placed an order yet, or if there's anything you see in my video today that you'd like to order, and you don't have a demonstrator that you currently deal with, I would appreciate your business. This is my August host code. And again, we only have a few more days left in the month of August um, for celebration and to use this host code if you purchase anything from me. I would appreciate it so very much. And again, I so appreciate from the bottom of my heart for each of you watching my videos each week. I get comments from you guys. Um, if you like the video, please give me a thumbs up. That helps with my analytics from um, YouTube. And um, leave me a comment and let me know what you liked about it or where, just where you're from. I'd like to communicate with you. Again, appreciate it. Everyone have a great weekend, and I will see you via video next Friday. Thank you, guys.